Also right now in Gilbert, parents gathering trying to save their children's school. That's right, the school board meeting tonight to close Gilbert Junior High. It may open one day under a new name and to a new group of students. ABC 15's Eric English is live uh, from uh, near Gilbert Classical Assembly. And Eric, where are the current students going? Well, there's still a lot of questions about what's going to happen out here, and that'll be the topic of the meeting that's going to begin here at the uh, Gilbert Classical Academy in about an hour. But basically, we understand the plan is to take the students here and move them to uh, a few miles down the road to the Gilbert Junior High and then pretty much dissolve the junior high. But that plan is just not sitting well with, with the parents of students over there. <laughs> Parents and teachers at Gilbert Junior High School are upset with some changes coming their way. At the end of the school year, the junior high will shut its doors and open as the Gilbert Classical Academy. To just throw that away after all these years when it is the oldest school is a disservice to both the parents and the students. Parents here say they just learned about the decision this week and have had very little chance to voice their opinion on the move. They feel the school board is favoring GCA, a high level honor school, and discarding the less affluent junior high. I'm upset about it because they have not given the community a voice by letting them come forward and be part of this decision. Teachers say they only found out a week ago they would be transferred. It concerns me and it baffles me. They say it's because the junior high only has about 400 students while GCA is overcrowded with nearly 700. They told us that we were going to be repurposed. I mean, we had heard rumors over the last year and we kind of had an idea because we're low on population, we're kind of low on the totem pole. The 43 staff and faculty will be incorporated into other schools, as will the students, but parents still say they're losing something. Now again, that meeting is set to begin in about an hour at 7 o'clock. Uh, parents of the uh, students over at the junior high say they will be here and try to get some of their questions answered too. Guys? Yeah, you can understand just yanking your kids out of school like that. Thanks, Eric.